Nick Taya is a music producer based in Melbourne. DJing around the world and writing tracks to get club and radio love by some of the biggest DJs on the planet. I recently caught up with Nick and he ran me through one of the most important elements of songwriting, arrangement. So Nick, you're going to run us through the concept of arrangement and how best to apply that when writing a song? That's right, yeah. Uh, one of the best tips anyone ever gave me when I was writing music was to do with arrangement and I find myself coming back to it sort of every day in the studio, so I thought I'd share that with you today, yeah. Yeah, cool. And basically, what's the, the fundamental idea? Arrangement is how do you turn, how, how do you best present your idea? What is the idea of your song and the arrangement is how you sort of bring that to bear, whether it's a club tune or whether it's sort of a pop song or a metal song. The arrangement is is the best platform for you to sort of get that idea across. So that's what we're going to be talking about. And it's about directing the listener's ear to certain parts of the track? Yeah, I mean, in each section of the song, whether it's you know an eight bar section, a four bar section, a 64 bar section, you need to ask yourself, what am I supposed to be listening to here? What am I trying to draw attention to here? What is the main point of this section? You know, in, in sort of a general pop song, you have the concept of verse, chorus, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro type structure. What, what I'm going to talk about is a little bit different to that. I guess it comes under the realm of instrumentation as well. During the verse of the song, the instrumentation will be quite stripped back. And then uh, when it gets to the chorus, it'll be quite full on. But you'll generally find that even in, even in the chorus, that's, that's the point of the song, that all the parts will be supporting the main vocal. Maybe it'll be a call and response thing between the vocal and, and the guitar line, which will, again, draw your attention back to the point of the song. Or maybe, you know, there's, there'll be a, a synth line that's echoing the melody of the vocal or something like that. So it all comes down to they're all supporting the main point of that section, which is the chorus, which is the bit that you're supposed to be going away singing. Yeah. And you've mapped out that idea for us? Yeah, well, one of the things that I, I got taught to do that I find really helpful is to yeah do a song map. And uh, as you can see here, we've got one here. And you can do this with your favourite song, with a song you just heard. As you can see, I've got the, the four main uh, elements of the song, the sort of vocals, the drums, the bass and the melody. And so what you do in each section, you listen through the song and just focus on the vocals the first time through and write down this section one, whether it's the intro or the you know the eight bar, the first verse or whatever, and just write down what the vocals are doing. In section two, same thing, write down what the vocals are doing. Section three, just focus on the vocals, what are they doing? Is it harmonies added, what's going on? And then the next time you go through the song, do the same thing for the drums in this first section, what's happening? Perhaps in the second section a percussion layer will come in, so you write that down, and then the next section perhaps that drops out. So you write per perks gone, you know, or and then do the same thing with the bass and the keys, you know, making sure to note, you know, if perhaps things are tweaking, there's a filtering effect going on, or things are getting louder or softer, something's fading in or fading out. Just write that down and 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 then when you come back and look at the song as a whole, the things that I often find are like, okay, well, so this big synth line came in here, what else happened at that point? Oh look, the percussion went out, the vocals went out, the bass got simplified, and so your ears were immediately drawn to the fact that the synth had come in, but that was uh, really helped along by the way that everything else sort of pointed you towards that. And so I find these things incredibly helpful, and especially tunes that you find are really well put together. Like One I would really recommend doing it for is uh, the Chemical Brothers tune, Do It Again, which is such a simple tune, like you listen to it and you don't think there's, there's a lot going on, but there are so many things going on in the background that point you towards the important parts of the song that you probably won't even notice. So. How do you apply this idea? Is it something that you use as you're writing or is it more of an analytical tool? For me, I find it's more of an analytical tool. I won't sort of map out every tune I'm writing like this, but I find that when I do do this to, to other songs, I often come up with ideas, I'll come across techniques that they've used and then I'll go, oh, that's a great technique, the way that they had this part getting louder and louder and louder up to this point and then suddenly it went away and, and, then, and then these other parts came in and pointed the focus towards those and so I'll go, I'll come across ideas and techniques like that and then I'll use those techniques when I'm writing and try and sort of bring the, their I, arrangement ideas into what I'm doing I guess. Although there have been times I guess when I have made one of these because for some reason a track just isn't working and, and the main bits aren't doing what they're supposed to do and so Whilst you can see it all on the screen in front of you, I guess, if, you, if you're writing music and you can see the bits that are coloured in, helps to simplify and, and I find take it away from the computer and bring it back to, because when people hear it on the radio or in the club, 
they're not seeing blocks on the screen. They're not seeing section one, section two. They're listening to a piece of music. And so I find taking it out of the computer and, and, and thinking about it like this quite helpful as well. Well, that's something I can imagine myself using. And I can see it would be good if you're getting stuck with the track or something you could even use from the outset. I guess so. I guess I find that doing it just you know, it sort of builds up my, my uh, language, my techniques in how to get from this section to that, the next section in a song. And so I find if I'm sort of, you know, going through and writing a song and I get stuck and then, you know, I'll think back to other songs that I've done this for and going, oh yeah, that was a cool little technique, the way they did that, that little bridge section there. So maybe I can kind of replicate that idea. And I find it just helps you get moving again. Yeah, definitely. That's quite a simple little idea, but I could see how powerful it can be. Thanks Steve for sharing that with us and I look forward to analysing one of your tunes someday. Hope you do. Thanks very much.